welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're smoothing it with the Camo Nest XL by Eagle's Nest Outfitters. So stick around. Made from woven nylon, the Camo Nest XL is approximately 9 foot 4 inches in length and 6 foot 2 inches in width. It will hold a maximum weight of 400 pounds, weighs 19 ounces, and retails for $95. The Atlas suspension system is made from 1 inch wide flat polyfilament webbing, is approximately 9 foot 1 inch in length weighs 11 ounces and retails for $30. The Profly rain tarp is made from polycoated ripstop nylon, covers an area of 10 foot 6 by 6 foot 4, weighs 22 ounces and retails for $79.
so far so good. Everything's looking good, everything's dry. Let's talk about the likes and dislikes. First, the likes. So far, I'm liking everything about it. This thing goes up in a matter of minutes. Probably about two, three minutes, max. However, I configured mine differently, so let's walk around and check out some of those changes. Right here is the backside. Now, this type of ProFly rain tarp is a standard A-frame. So I went ahead and facilitated that style on the backside. I use this down log as the anchor point. Now right here we have the front or the entrance. So what I've done is I raised the top of it right here and I've tied it off at two separate points to facilitate the water runoff towards the back end. Now right here we have the far side, we also have the back. Like I mentioned before, I raised the front end to facilitate the water runoff. So the water is rolling down here and being collected in my improvised container or MRE sleeve. Alright, lastly let's talk about the MRE sleeve or improvised container. You just watched me make one of these, so it's pretty self-explanatory. However, the important part here is the toggle. On previous videos I used the toggle as a stopper to keep the bag from sliding down. But because the ProFly rain tarp has this hole, the stick will slide right through keeping it pretty secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, the toggle is very important here because as the water comes down, it's being trapped on that toggle and preventing it from running down the line. So if you watch, it's hitting the toggle and it's dripping directly into the bag. So it's a very important piece of this container. Welcome back. That was good to go. Let's talk about some dislikes. Zero. There's nothing I can find out with the system that I'm not happy with. One thing I'm not happy with is I should have been doing this a lot sooner versus sleeping on the ground. So, hope you all enjoyed this. With that, catch you next time.